morning friends i mrs jyoti randaya teacher in santukaram national model school today we are going to study about nationalism in europe the rise of nationalism in europe this is the chapter which we are going to see today okay my dear students we have six concepts in this particular chapter and few main concepts sub concepts are also there french revolution and the idea of nation so in this particular class we are going to talk about the idea of nation state the first clear expression of nationalism came with the french revolution in 1789 political and constitutional changes that came in wake of french revolution led to the transfer of sovereignty from monarchy to the body of french citizen so there was a change which took place in french during the french revolution in 1789 so that we are going to check today the french revolutionaries created various measures and practices that could create a sense of collective identity amongst the french people whenever we are talking about nation state there has to be a common ethnic composition a fixed boundary cultural language they should be sharing those bonds this is very very important as we have studied already so to create those things the french revolutionaries they have taken various measures which we are going to see in this particular class the idea of la patrie the fatherland and the citoyen was emphasized to have a bond to have a united community the feeling which was given or which was mentioned under the constitution my dear students before in france as you have studied in class 9 people used to refer the people, certain groups as monsieur and madame so there were different terms which were used to refer different estates but here after it was decided by the french revolutionaries that everyone in france would be referred as le citoyen the citizen so this is very important and then they created a new french flag the tricolor which was replaced from with the earlier royal standard again to have a feeling of oneness among the people the estate general was elected by the body of active citizen and it was renamed as national assembly so we have the active member who were participating they were close to the term of government by the consent now why i am saying close to because still we have the passive citizen who did not get to elect the national assembly new hymns were composed oaths were taken and the mitres were commemorated all in the name of nation a centralized administrative system was put in place which formulated uniform law for all the citizen within its territory so all the french citizen who are in the territories of france the citizens will have the same administrative system internal customs duties and dues which were till now being taken by the people the businessman during the export and the import were abolished and a uniform system of weights and measures was adopted all the regional dialects which were spoken in france was discouraged and french as it was spoken in paris became the common language of the nation so this is how the idea of nation was encouraged by the french revolutionaries the revolutionaries did not stop over here they further declared that it was their mission the destiny of the french nation to liberate all the people 
of Europe from despotism. So students and the other members of the middle classes, they started establishing the Jacobian clubs. These activities and campaigns, they prepared the way for the French armies which moved into Holland, Belgium, Switzerland and much of Italy in the 1790s. And the French army began to carry the idea of nationalism in abroad. So this is how they started spreading the idea of nation. They did not stop with the France. I hope you have understood this topic. We will just have a recap of what we have done in today's class. We have seen the points, the ideas and the, the measures and the practices which were created, which were started or which were introduced by the French revolutionary to have a sense of collective identity. We spoke about La Patrie we, and Le Citoyen. We spoke about the French flag, the National Assembly, new hymns, the centralized system of administration and French language. I hope you have understood, my dear students. So, mercy here. That's thank you in French. We will see you in the next class.